Hey folks, Joe Baker here from the Edit Bay. Today I'm just going to go over a couple of quick tips that will help you edit your 4K footage, or any high resolution footage for that matter, a little bit more efficiently. So for starters here, I have a project right here called The Catalyst. This is a short film that I'm working on, which by the way should be coming out in October. Um, but you'll notice I do have it right here on my desktop. I do want it on my computer's local drive. So the first thing... <clears throat> excuse me, that may cross your mind when cutting 4K footage is why not use it a portable hard drive? You know, the files are a little bit bigger. Um, you know, portable hard drives have SSDs in them. Uh, but the truth is, unless you're using a RAID, something that can transfer the data very quickly, uh, that's probably going to bog you down and cause problems. So although I don't have any other data stored on my computer, um, I usually create these temporary folders for any projects that I happen to be working on. So for example, if I open this up, I'm going to have folders for sound effects, music, um, separate audio that was captured on set along with my principal footage, which is, by the way, also broken down into subfolders. So, um, of course, when I'm done uh, editing all of this stuff, this folder will just get copied to a portable hard drive for archiving purposes, and I'll simply delete this to free up some hard drive space. So, moving on, a couple other things that we can do is go into our editing apps and tweak a couple of things that will allow us to move a little bit faster. So if you're in After Effects, if you go to the, um, if you go to Edit down here to Preferences, pull up the Display Settings right here and check this box right here. Um, Hardware Accelerate Composition, Layer and Footage Panels. That will basically take advantage of your computer's graphics card and um, offset some of that uh, work onto it. Um, Along the same lines, if I go down here to memory and multiprocessing, uh, which by the way is also available in Mirror, same thing, edit, preferences, go down to, I believe it's memory, and you get the same panel right here. Um, what it's going to allow you to do is allocate a certain amount of RAM to be used during your editing session. Now I do have the bulk of mine, I've got 32 gigs installed on my machine, and I do have the bulk of it working on just Premiere or After Effects. So right here, 25.9, with the remainder left over for any other apps that I might be dyna dynamically linking with during my editing session. So back in After Effects, same thing. Set these up. Um, I believe they recommend uh, two gigs per core. So I have you know, 12 core CPU. So I've got 24, I rounded it up to 25. And then I have the remainder going towards my other applications. Now, the last tip I wanted to share with you really quick, and this was kind of interesting too, because I use a app called System Mechanic, which is um, just designed to clean out your registry and help things run a little bit smoother. But just a couple of days ago, they released an update to this app um, called Live Boost. And what it does is it basically has these different presets here to allow you to work a little bit more efficiently depending on what you're doing, depending on what type of app you have open on your machine. And although I haven't had time to test this, I've only installed it a couple of days ago, I kind of like that it gives you these readouts right here, what's going on within your machine. And I did notice that when I was prepping for this tutorial, I had Premiere open, um, I was tweaking a couple of things in there, going to the settings and such, and then I launched After Effects came down here to, you know, I noticed down here I got a notification that the second I launched After Effects, it sw automatically switched over to this graphic design uh, preset. Now, I could always switch to video editing if I was going to go over and work over in Premiere, um, but it'll be interesting to see if this makes things a little bit more efficient when, my, when I'm working. So if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, post a comment. If you'd like to see more quick tips like this, please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.